So now that you've watched our entire series, you have the knowledge of basic programming which will take you far in any language that you decide to learn. You know some good pre-programming pseudocode strategies to help you design your code from the ground up, and if you watched our previous episode, you might have a good idea as to the type of programming language you might want to start with. So what's the next step? How can I learn that language? And what applications can it be used for? Well, that's going to be the topic for our final Introduction to Programming episode. So let's begin. Starting with the biggest question, which is, what is the next step? Well, now that you know which type of language you might be interested in, research that language and find out whether or not you truly want to pursue that programming language. Most languages, like Python or C++, will either have an official website where you can read up on that language, or a Wikipedia page which will provide you with useful information in deciding whether or not you want to pursue that path. From there, the next step is to actually learn the language, which can be done right here on YouTube. Many people will tell you that you need to purchase a paid course or take classes which cost money, but you can find extremely good courses here on YouTube for absolutely zero cost to yourself. Now if you have the money to spare, you can definitely sign up for these classes, but if not, I would start with an introduction series like the one you're currently watching, but for the language you have chosen and work your way through that series, picking up on the syntax and rules of that language until you become more comfortable with it. Once you do that, you sort of come to a crossroads. You know how to program in a certain language, but you may be completely clueless as to what you want to make in that language. Programmer's block is extremely annoying and can leave you uninspired and not want to continue programming, so I'd like to give you a few sites to help out. First up is CodingBat, a completely free website which has hundreds of coding challenges in both Java and Python to help you refine your programming skills and even learn some programming shortcuts and tips. This is great if you want to get better at improving your efficiency and need something to hone your skills as a developer. The next website is CoderByte which offers over 200 plus challenges that you can complete in over 10 different languages, something that is sure to help you improve in any language you decide to take. The final website I'd like to talk about is HackerRank, which not only provides programming challenges to keep you on your toes, but also provides support for using your programming skills to find jobs or internships, something you've probably definitely thought about if you're taking programming up as a skill. These and many more websites exist solely to keep you interested in code by providing fun challenges and also help work on refining your skills to become better. Now if you're a teenager watching this series, I also encourage you to take the programming classes in your high school. AP Computer Science Principles and AP Computer Science A are both amazing courses which will help you greatly in the future and are also incredibly informative and important to colleges. I myself have taken both of the courses and can vouch for them completely. As you can see, the world of code has now been opened up to you. These are just a few examples of where you can go from here, but there are many more we didn't talk about. You can get yourself involved in GitHub and start contributing to projects. You can work on your own projects and collaborate with others. The possibilities are endless, and the next step is up to you. This concludes our Introduction to Programming series. We hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. Content on this channel will continue to get uploaded, although at a slower rate, since school has started back up again. Me and Sean are both high school seniors and college applications are right around the corner, so please forgive us if one or two weeks go by without a video. We are always working hard on new uploads. The next episode that will be coming out on this channel is a mega cut of every single Introduction to Programming episode, with refined scripts and refined visuals so that you can get all the information in one go. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and listening.